Welcome, I'm Leanne. I'm gonna lead you through this yoga practice today. Come sitting comfortably in your chair. You're welcome to rest back. And just feel yourself supported for a few moments here so that you can feel supported so you can let go of some of the extra tension or effort that doesn't need to be in your body at this moment. So letting go, sensing into your body. And notice yourself breathing. And maybe you can slow your breath down a little bit. Use these moments to catch up with yourself, noticing how you are. What is present today? How is your breath? Welcoming everything. So being kind to yourself as you notice how you are today. Sometimes it takes us getting still and quiet to feel or to hear or to see how we are. Practice this today listening to your body, to what you need, to what you want. Let this be your guide. That intuitive sense within you will guide you if you listen and feel. sliding yourself off the back of your chair. So come sitting up, and slide yourself forward if you like, feet on the ground, and your hands can just rest on your legs or your arms can hang beside you. Okay, come into your shoulders and just begin to move your shoulders. You feel like you can lift your shoulders towards your ears and then you can lower them down away from your ears. So shoulders rise and shoulders fall. And sense into the actual movement of your shoulder blades on your back as they lift and as they lower. Okay, relax your shoulders down. Can you draw your shoulder blades towards your spine and away from your spine? So in and out, towards, and away. And then just let your shoulders roll a little bit more randomly. They can move in all directions. You let your shoulders relax, give your head a turn to the left, and then a turn to the right. And one more, head back to the left side. Breathing easy. And a head turn to the right. Head back to neutral. Slide your feet next to each other, bring your knees together. And let your hands come down to your lower side ribs. So the hands aren't resting at the pelvis or at the waist, they're up at the lower ribs, the sides of you. We're just going to turn. So you can go whichever way you want to first. You're just gently going to rotate from side to side. Take your time and you want to keep your knees aligned. So those feet stay touching, knees stay touching. And just gently letting that turn come up through your torso. 
So whichever side you're turning to, can you pause to that side, relax your shoulders, decide if you want your head to turn a little further, and then unwind and turn the opposite way. Again, knees are staying square, relaxing your shoulders down, and if you like, turning your head a little further. Just being gentle, listening to your body. What does it need? What does it want? Okay, let go. So come back to neutral and you can let the arms come down. So come into your right leg and we're gonna let the right leg lift and then slide to the right and then come back in and come down. So lift, take the leg wide, bring it back to, to start and lower down. So keep going. Another option, if you don't feel comfortable lifting your leg, just let the leg fall open and then come back. So the foot can stay on the floor or the toes can stay on the floor and the leg can fall open and come back. Okay? Or you're lifting and opening and sliding back and placing down. Right. Whichever version you're doing, do one more. Okay. Now let the leg come wide so everybody can step the right leg a little wide so that right knee and toes are angled out to the side. And then we're gonna gently come forward over the left leg, which is still right in front of us. So just gently tip. So you're welcome to come down to hands or forearms if you want to bring the hands down to the ground and that's comfortable and accessible for you, you can. Okay. And then lift back up and bring the right leg back in. Okay, same thing for the left leg. So you can lift the thigh, swing it to the left, bring it back and place it down, keep going, or roll the left leg open and then bring it back to where it starts. Roll it open and bring it back. And maybe you alternate. Maybe you do one where you lift up. Maybe you do one where it falls open. So listen to your body. We are all moving our leg bone in our hip socket, basically. Not in a way that hurts. So if it hurts, just drop it down. Make it a little more gentle. A little less intense. Okay, do one more wide and then in. And then everybody step your left foot wide so your left leg is angled out. And we're gonna fold forward over the right leg. So tip yourself forward. So you could bring hands to right thigh. You could bring forearms to right thigh. You could fold further if you want to. Feel your feet on the ground, push down through your feet and come on back up, okay? Bring both legs wide now, both feet flat, spine tall, relax your shoulders, okay? Take your left leg and straighten it. So see if you can straighten it. Now heel could be down or heel can be up, top of the foot towards you, and then put the left foot down and do the same thing with the right leg. So straighten the right leg wide, one more time each leg. Right foot is down, left leg is straight and wide, drawing the top of the foot towards you. And put the left foot down, and last time, right leg wide and straight. Great. Okay, bring the right foot down so we're wide and we're gonna come forward. So you can keep hands on legs and just bring your upper body forward. You could come down to elbows. Or you can bring your hands down to blocks or to the floor. Listen to your body. So if it starts to, if you start to get yellow lights that you're going too far, come back a little bit. Stay where it feels comfortable. Okay? Your, our body will give us the clues. It will give us the answers if we listen to it. Okay, lifting yourself back up. Okay, you can bring your legs together. 
And then we're going to turn to the right. So you're going to move your legs over to the right side of the chair. So you've got to pivot on the seat of your chair. So the back of your chair is on your right side now. Okay, bring your, so your feet are on the floor. Bring your feet right next to each other again. So feet are touching, knees are touching, inner thighs are touching. Sit yourself up tall and then turn to the right. So you're going to turn yourself towards the back of the chair. So at that point, you could hold the back of the chair with the hands or maybe just one hand. Okay, try to keep your knees aligned with each other. Feet on the floor. Spine tall. Relax your shoulders. Breathe. Unwind. Okay, now we want to take the left leg and bring it back behind us. So adjust yourself on the chair so that your right foot is flat on the ground and your thigh is on the seat of the chair. You have to be kind of close to the edge of it. If your right foot isn't on the floor, then you could put a block under your right foot if you want to. Okay. All right, so this left leg We've got it back just as far as each of us can. So you might have the left foot more underneath you, or you might have that left leg further back behind you. Curl the toes of the left foot under if you can, and then play with straightening the knee and bending the knee. So let the left heel reach towards the floor, and then let the knee bend. And straighten the knee and then bend the knee, okay, then you can choose. You can stay with this left leg more relaxed or you can stay with it more engaged. We're gonna side bend towards the right though. So you're gonna tip yourself towards the back of your chair. You can lift that left arm up and over, but this whole left side of you is gonna get a little bit longer. Okay, come back to vertical. And then one more movement here, you're gonna turn back towards the right. So gently turn back towards the back of your chair. Okay, you can soften what that uh, left knee is doing, or you can keep that activity there. See if you can bring your left hand over to your right leg or the back of the chair. Okay, unwind the turn and then unwind your body. So come back and face forward on your chair. Okay, and then we'll switch sides. So you're going to turn so that your back of your chair is on your left side. Feet are together. Knees are together. Sit up tall. Relax your shoulders. Turn left without letting the knees move. Okay, so right hand at least crosses to the left leg and maybe the right hand comes to the back of the chair. All right, unwind. So now the right leg, we want it to come in the front of the chair. So we want to bring the left foot flat. So left thigh, back of the left thigh is on the seat of the chair, and then we can play with where this right leg is. You can have the knee further underneath you. Maybe you can have the thigh a little further back. Plant the toes of the right foot and see if you can straighten the back leg. See if you can straighten out that right knee. Sitting yourself square, so not leaning to the back of the chair. Okay, maybe bend the knee and then straighten it out. And another time, bend, and then straighten. So we're, we're in a lunge, right? So you can choose, the back knee can be more at ease or the back leg can be more active. We're gonna side bend towards the back of the chair. So lift your right arm up and then tip to the left. Opening up your right side. Okay, lift, drop the right arm, 
turn now to the left. So bring your right hand over to your left leg and just turn your chest gently towards the back of the chair. Don't overdo. Feeling all the sensations that you notice. Okay, unwind your turn and you can come back and face forward. So you can let the right leg go and then shift yourself to forward. Okay, so feet are back on the ground, knees are bent. Right shoulder, let's move the right shoulder. So you can lift and lower it. You can move the shoulder blade away from the spine and towards the spine. Just the right side. Maybe give the right shoulder a couple of circles. When the movement is fine. Okay, and then just let the shoulders relax. Let the left ear fall towards the left shoulder. So think about those, uh, the weight of your upper arms, just the arms feeling heavy, the jaw softening. Okay, bring your head back to neutral. Come into your left shoulder and begin to lift and lower the left side. So the blade moving up and down on your back. And then maybe the blade moving in and out. So towards and away. And then maybe that left shoulder can circle forwards or backwards or switching directions. All the different ways that that left shoulder can move around. Okay, and then it's gonna relax. So just let the left shoulder fall, arms heavy. So they're resting easy, right ear towards the right shoulder. Easy breaths. Okay, bring the head back up, bring the arms up off your legs so that your forearms are parallel to the floor, palms are facing each other. Okay, let the arms lift so the elbows come wide so the palms are facing down. And then you're gonna lower the upper arms back to the sides of your body. So lift elbows away and then lower elbows down. So lift and lower. Okay, so lift, now, now this is our starting point. Roll, so your fingertips point up, and then roll back so your palms face down. So fingertips point to the ceiling, and then palms point to the floor. Fingertips point to the ceiling, and now forearms and palms come in front of you, close as you can with the forearms. Open the arms wide, and bring the forearms in. Okay, one more, open the arms up and bring the forearms in. Can you take the right elbow into the crook of the left arm? That could bring your hands to opposite shoulders or backs of hands together or palms together. You don't need to squeeze the chest or squeeze the arms there. Just breathe. If you can feel your breath in your side ribs, your lower side ribs. Okay, let the arms go, take a stretch up with the arms. So reach up and then let the arms come down. Okay, give the shoulders a roll. Bring your arms back alongside you, palms facing each other. Lift the elbows up and lower them back down. So lifting elbows up and lowering down. Lift and lower, okay, changing directions. So lift, stay here, roll open. So fingertips up, roll back, so palms are facing down. So we're moving the upper arm bones. Fingertips point up and then palms face down. Fingertips point up and palms face down, 
Okay, fingertips point up, stay here, bring forearms and palms in. So squeeze in and open wide. And squeeze in and open. Come in and open. And then bring them in and left elbow into the crook of the right arm. So backs of hands or palms together or hands on opposite shoulders is great. Soften your shoulders, relax your jaw. Feel what you feel in your body. Okay, let the arms go. They're going to come up to the ceiling. Can you take a breath in and lift? And then exhale and let the arms come down. So do that two more times. Inhale and lift. Just as high as you want to with arms. Exhale down. So if you want to come wide and halfway, that's great. One more. Okay, relax the arms. All right, we're going to slowly shift ourselves up to standing. So can you slide your seat forward on the edge of your chair? Can you tuck your feet flat, heels closer in, take your arms forward, shift, shift, shift your weight forward slowly. Okay, and then you're going to push into your heels and come on up to standing. All right, so we're going to use the seat of our chair here. So you can be facing your chair. You can also use the side of your chair. That works as well. Okay. So face your chair. Step your left foot back a step. Separate railway track. Toes are pointing forward. Okay, your hips stayed facing forward. You're going to hinge at your hips and tip over. So you're going to bring your hands down to the seat of your chair or you're gonna bring your forearms down, depending on how far over you are comfortable folding. So listen to your body, but you get to rest your body on the seat of the chair through those arms so that you can feel the stretch in the back of the legs, maybe in the back, If you're down on your forearms, bring your hands back to the seat of the chair, and then we'll come up. So soften the front knee, push down through that right foot and lift. Okay, step your left foot forward. Okay, we're going to tip over from here. So tip at the hips, bring the hands back to the seat of the chair. You could also bring your forearms to the seat of the chair. That left leg this time is going to lift up off the floor and then lower back towards the floor. Okay, so left leg lifts and then lowers. One more, left leg lifts and then lowers. Bring the left foot back to the floor, soften your knees and come on up. Okay, can you stand in your right foot and come to tree pose? So you're gonna take that left knee and you're gonna roll the left thigh open. Okay, so you don't have to change the direction that you're facing. I'm just turning so you can see. So you can have the left foot up on the inside of the right leg if you like, or you can have the left big toe on the floor and the heel against the inside of the right leg. So you have the chair there, the back of the chair for the hand to rest on if you want. And if you want a little bit more Challenge, just take the hand a little bit up off the chair. Okay, pick a spot to rest your gaze on so your eyes have a soft focus and breathe. Okay, step your right foot back down so you have both feet, or your left foot rather back down so you have both feet on the floor. Okay, so we're going to switch legs now. So you can stay where you are. You don't have to change sides. Okay, so we're going to step back this time with our right foot. So separate railway track, not a balance beam. See if you can have your toes all pointing forward, 
hinge at your hips. Bring your hands to the seat of the chair or the forearms. So a forward fold. Back of the body lengthening. The support of the chair underneath us. Soften your knees. We're going to come up. So hands to the chair if they're not already there. Soft knees, push down through your feet and lift yourself up. Step your right foot in. Okay, hinge again at your hips. So tip, hands tucked to the seat of the chair. Right leg lifts up. So it can just lift a little. Maybe it lifts higher and let the right leg go. So lift the right leg up and let go. So do two more. So lift and pause and relax. And one more, right leg up and then right foot down. Feel both feet on the floor, soften both knees and come on up. And you're gonna stand in your left foot, come to tree pose. So roll the right leg open. So the toe can stay on the floor and the heel can come to the inside of the left leg or you can bring the right foot right up to the inside of the left leg. Maybe your arms are wide. You're resting your gaze on a spot. You're breathing. Slow breath. Okay, put the right foot down and relax. All right, we're gonna come back to our chair. So you can come back and sit. Okay, so you're still forward in the seat, feet on the floor. We're gonna pick up the left leg and bring the shin to the right thigh. If this is not comfortable in your hip, or your knee or your ankle or your back, then you can just, you can cross the left shin over the right shin. Okay, sit yourself up tall. Now you can move this left thigh up and down a little. Just that leg bone moving in your hip socket. Whatever range is there, just stay in that range. Okay, let that left leg relax. Turn towards the left. So bring the right hand over to the left leg, relax your shoulders. Unwind your turn and then gently tip forward. So you're bringing your pelvis forward. You're bringing your heart forward. Soften your eyes and your jaw and your shoulders. Okay, lift back up. Bring the left foot down and then the right leg can come up. So right shin on the left thigh. Or maybe you're just crossing your right shin over your left shin. Okay, can you move this right leg bone, right thigh bone gently in the hip socket? So the foot always stays in contact or the shin always stays in contact with the left leg. We're just gently moving the right leg. And if your right leg doesn't want to move today, that's okay. Okay, relax the right leg, relax the shoulders. Turn to the right. So bring the left hand across, right hand to the hip or the seat of your chair. And let go. Stay vertical or add a tip forward. Soften your eyes, your jaw, your shoulders, your toes, anywhere it feels like tension is building. Okay, come on back to vertical. Bring the right foot back to the floor. Bring the hands to the seat of your chair or interlace your fingers behind your back. 
Gently open up through the front of the body. So a little back bend, collarbones wide, shoulders down, and then gently folding forward. So that could mean hands or forearms to thighs. You can come further over if that feels comfortable and you know it's safe for your back. Breathe and let go. As you're ready there, shift yourself up, slide yourself to the back of your chair so that you can relax for a few moments. Okay, so just get comfortable. Close your eyes and rest. Let yourself be supported by your chair and by the ground and letting go. Right. Letting be, bringing your kind attention to your breath. So we're breathing in and breathing out through our nose, if we can. Okay. A light breath in and a long, slow breath out. Light breath in, a long, slow breath out. Okay. And what we're gonna do is count each exhale. So we're gonna count down from six. So we have a light, gentle inhale, and then you're mentally gonna say six as you breathe out. So a slow letting go. When you're ready, you'll take another breath in. And then this exhale will be five. So keep going slowly, counting down on each exhale. Take your time. Light breath in. Long, slow breath out. Okay, at the end of this exhale, regardless of what number you're on, relax. So rest. Just let awareness drift through your body. Sense into the quiet within you. What do you become aware of when it gets quieter? Letting go. When you're ready, whether that's now or in a few minutes from now, you can release your practice. Notice how you feel. And taking your time, just move as your body would like to move.
Okay. And then taking your time as you do come up off of your chair. Stepping back into your day whenever you're ready. Thank you for practicing today.